side is trotting out. Dr. Ron Arrayal is under early urging victory margin, protecting position between horses, and Sundown Score will utilize the rail to full advantage. Fool's goal is up close early. He's fifth toward the inside. Then it's Monty Hall in sixth. Dream Vacation is two lengths further back in seventh. Lyle Creek Inn is following him from eighth position, and Act trails the field. So it's Sundown Score leading it, but here comes Magician, who's taking his time, working his way up toward the front. Opening quarter in 27 and 3. Dr. Ron Arrayal is racing in third, and Miller puts Magician on the lead. Sundown score will yield back for the pocket trip in second. Fool's goal is flushed to the outside. Monty Hall has his cover. Victory margin set in. He's being shuffled back just a bit, and Dream Vacation finds himself third over in the cover flow. He's seventh on the outside, about eight lengths from the lead. Lyle Creek end set in. Plezak is fourth over as they reach the half in 56 seconds. A backside breather for Magician, who's controlling the tempo. Fool's goal is trying to mount a challenge on the outside from second. Sundown score is racing in third. Monty Hall perfectly positioned following cover. Second over up on the outside. And on a break, Sundown score has gone inside the pylons there to avoid the rest of the field. Also off stride, Dream Vacation. Dream Vacation has gone off stride. And Magician leads it as they trot to the three-quarter marker in 124 and 3. Monty Hall is taking it to him, though. He's right there on the outside. And these two are stride for stride at the top of the stretch. Monty Hall surging up on the outside. Magician will have to fight back to him. Fool's goal is under a full out drive. Klezak is coming. Lyle Creek in on the far outside. It's Monty Hall who leads it as they come to the finish. Fool's goal. One last surge. It's Fool's goal who gets up to win it. Monty Hall was second. Very tight for third. 153 and 1. Returning to the winner's circle. Number two, Fool's Goal. An Armbro Goal six-year-old gelding out of Contest Eek by Tuneful Contest, all by Bruce McElvin and Ron Allen of New Jersey, trained by William Lemire of the Jim Doherty Stable, and Jack Moiseev is in the sulky. Fool's Goal trotting the mile in 153-1 and one to upset the Titan Cup field. Fool's Goal, of course, the world champion, for older trotting geldings going in 152 last June here at the Meadowlands, scoring tonight in 153 and 1 to take the Titan Cup. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, we welcome Abby and Peter Geary of the Arden Homestead Stable. They, of course, campaign Titan Hanover, the 1945 Hamiltonian winner, who this race is named for. The Geary family has been involved in harness racing for many years, true movers and shakers in the industry. And both Abby and Peter are avid amateur drivers competing on a regular basis in the billing series. Abby is president of the Board of Trustees of the Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame in Goshen, and Peter is the treasurer. So we welcome the Garys here tonight to present the Titan Cup trophy. There was a dead heat for third, a dead heat for third between number seven, Lyell Creek Inn, at number eight, Magician, seven and eight, finishing a dead heat for third. Results have now been posted official. Number two, Fool's Goal, pays $20.80, 10 20 and four sixty. Finishing second, number five, Monty Hall, forty two sixty to place and ten eighty to show. And the dead heat for show, number seven, Lyle Creek End, pays 320. We are in the winner's circle. The Titan Cup final is history. Fool's goal is one of Jack Boisea, the driver. Owner Bruce McCalvin will join us. Jack, is this the second time you drove this horse? Yeah, I drove him last week and uh, tonight for the second time. What did you think of him last week uh, when you kept him trotting the whole mile? He felt like a real nice horse, and uh, Jim just said make sure you keep him flat because he had a problem uh, making breaks there. But uh, tonight, you know, Jimmy said he'd be real good, and he, he was right. He was sharp. You have any problem at all keeping him trotting the whole mile? That's been his uh, bugaboo for a while. Nah, he was pretty uh, pretty safe tonight. What, what kind of trip did you work out? There was a pretty good duel going up front. <clears throat> yeah, they were going a little bit, going to the half, and I ended up first over, which wasn't real good, but uh, he liked it. He just kept digging in. Uh, then when I dropped in behind Magician there, he swelled right up. I was able to move back out, hit a stretch, and he went right on. Did the sundown score break and affect you at all the one? No, nah, I kind of thought it was helping me at the time, you know, to drop in behind the other horse for a while and rest, but uh, I, still, I still think he might have went even if I stayed on the outside. He was just real sharp tonight. Okay, Jack Moisev. Bruce uh, McCalvin, you have an interesting situation. You bred the, the two and the four. You know, victory margin, fool's gold, the damn contestique. That's, that's correct, right. We claimed that dam in New York, up in uh, New York, off a fellow by the name of Atley Armour. We bred her uh, to these uh, 
to a giant victory and to an ombre goal. Is it safe to say you were rooting for Fool's goal tonight? For Fool's goal, yeah, but I, I like victory margin. He's a good horse, too. Yeah. Fool's goal has had a problem breaking, but he's unbelievably talented when he trots. So what, what, what's the story been with him? Uh, he's just, uh, just a funny horse. Uh, when he pays attention, he trots, and when he don't, he, he, he just uh, he loses concentration, I believe. Tonight he showed a different element. He went from off the pace. Normally it's on the lead. Normally it's on the lead. Tonight he come from off, right? What's next for Fool's Goal? Is he breeder's crown material? Uh, breed, well, he's eligible to breeder's crown, and I guess Anat Ray will be next. Okay, well. Yeah, whatever Jimmy Docker decides, that's what we'll do. Okay, Bruce McKelvin, congratulations. The Titan Cup final goes to upset a Fool's Goal over 75 to 1, Monty Hall.